Hello everyone, Aaron Schatz here, Editor-in-Chief of AC Publishing, and today we've got the review of the D-Link Wi-Fi Smart Plug, this little bad boy right here. This is review ID 54798, you can check out this in all our reviews by going to www.ascolabs.com. There's no real reason to do that anymore because everything that we do is on YouTube these days. So there's going to be a subscribe button right down here, it's nice and red, or there'll be an annotation right here, you can click that. You'll be informed of all the video reviews and all the other content as we post them. By the way, if you're pressed for time, you can check out the one minute review. There'll be a card in one of these corners right here for the one minute review. So if you're pressed on time, check out the one minute review, then come back to this actual review, which is what we're doing right now. So let's get into this. I'm going to save you the trouble of the unboxing because this is what you get. Open the box and this comes out, This the actual plug itself. There, There's, all right, now I'm going to have to show you. There's a couple of other things in here. There's some literature and, and, and this stuff. You actually don't need these QR codes because the QR code is actually on the back of the actual plug itself, along with that D-Link does that with the cameras and stuff too, just so you don't have to like remember to, oh, I needed the, uh, the little booklet things to actually set this up. So no, you don't need that. And that's the unboxing for you. Let's take a closer look at the smart plug itself. So you can see that I... I don't know how you want me to explain this. Like literally you plug this into an outlet and then you plug something else into this outlet here. And then all of a sudden you connect this to your Wi-Fi network and you can make anything a smart device. And basically, if you don't use the extra features, smart device just means that you could turn this thing off and on and you could set scheduling on from your mobile device or whatever. So that's what a smart device is if you don't use some of the extra features like if this then that support which actually is very powerful so we'll go into that in a little bit but that's actually more of if this then that support itself not necessarily this however because this goes into that ecosystem it's pretty big front end unit has the actual plug and a power switch basically if you're you can actually operate this manually obviously because listen this is the kind of stuff that you, you expect to see right you have this switch you can turn this off and on manually on the side right here, you have the WPS button along with the reset button. By the way, WPS never ever get to work on any product I have. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't care what I'm doing wrong. It never works for me. But I will say this, that WPS is very, very insecure anyway, so I don't even suggest using it. You can set this up, no problem, QR code, use the, uh, the other D-Link application, which is very different than the My D-Link application from the cameras. However, we'll go into that in a little bit, so don't worry about that. The back, you actually have the, the plug that you actually stick into a, an outlet, receptacle, which I'll show you in a little, a little bit. On the back, you also have some literature with a QR code to actually set this thing up using your smartphone. And on the other side, you have a little D-Link logo here, and that's, that's pretty much all the sides and stuff of this device. The specifications of the Wi-Fi smart plug are 1800 watts at 125 volts AC. So make sure that the devices you're plugging into this aren't going to draw too much power. There's really nothing more for me to show you except how it actually works. So to do that, I'm going to get some stuff set up and we'll be right back. Now I've got this jury rig set up right here. I think you could see this, right? Let me see. Yep. You see this? It's the, uh, the nice little plasma type of lamp thing that you can touch and everything. I love that kind of stuff. Anyway, I got a power cord, or I should say an industrial extension cord-ish type of thing, you know, an outdoor extension cord, whatever, don't worry about it. Plugged into this, and I'm going to show you right here, if you see, here's the actual smart plug, and I can actually manually turn this on and off just by pushing the button, so you have the control over that. I'm also going to put another screen in here to show you the actual software, because obviously that's what you're going to use for this type of plug, otherwise why would you buy this at all? Now. This is the My D-Link Home application. It's very different than the My D-Link software that the cameras use, but they sort of integrate to each other, but not really. I'll show you that in a second. So if I go into, this is my places, I, I have Home set up. So let's go into Home and I'll show you this. So most of the time, a lot of people are going to use this not for scheduling, but for literally turning things on and off. And to do that, once everything is set up in here, all you do is just that's it. I mean, you, it's a power button. Turns off and on. So that functionality works 
real easily, no problem. You can add devices here and it goes through all the setup and stuff. You can see that my camera's showing up so I can select this little bad boy, hit that. So now I got my camera set up in there too. So if I click the camera, it actually opened the other application up. So that's, that's fine. There's another camera here that I have to set up too, but that's beside the point. So you can add as many things in here to this, to this home group or whatever group that you want to do. So let's go back. You can create a new group if you want. Just uh, home is a group, so I added everything to home because that's where it is. You can see the devices I have set up right here and see the settings here. Now, when you add a new device, this is where you would do it. You hit settings, add a new device. It'll go through all this stuff. Real easy, similar to the actual camera software setup. So it's, it's similar. It's not exactly the same. There's a lot of stuff that this application I'm not fond of. For instance, the animations and stuff. Just get out of my way. Let me do my stuff. This button up here, you notice that animation where it like goes back. I don't, I don't, I'm, not a, I'm not a fan of that. So these actions, for instance, you can set up triggers, responders, and stuff. That's, but you know what? Most people are going to use like if this then that support anyway. So if we go over back to this thing, if I click the actual, I called it home test, just FYI. So this plug is called home test. I can actually set up scheduling and stuff. So if I go here, basic or advanced, let's choose basic for now. So I'm going to enter a name and be like, hi. <laughs> So we're going to have an on-off cycle of 30 minutes. Get rid of this keyboard. And it's active every day. So it's literally just going to turn off and on every day. Boom. There you go. So every 30 minutes, it'll turn off and on. It just happened to be that 30 minute. And you can do more advanced stuff like that. So let's go to advanced. We'll add something here. So now you can see the actual scheduling stuff. So I'm able to go here, set some time frames, and say, okay, off and on, whatever, right? So that's now on. Everything else is off. But, you know, I'm, most people are not going to use this type of scheduling. They're going to use the basic scheduling and do whatever. So if you wanted to, you can have the start time as, like, I want 7 p.m. done. And then 12 a.m., no on and off cycle. And we'll call this, like, lights. So the lights will turn on at 7 p.m., and they'll turn off at 12 a.m., and that's good to go. That's how the scheduling works. I want to tell you a little bit about the actions in a little bit more detail. Basically, what actions are, for instance, if you had a motion sensor with this, that's what this software is meant to do. So this software is like the baby version of if this then that. So if I had if I actually had a motion sensor, I actually could go in, add a new action, have a trigger, and then do something from that action. But I don't, so we can't really do that. But what we do have is if this then that support. And this isn't going to be a review of that, but just know this, that once this is set up with if this then that, this could do a whole host of things. So if you haven't seen If This Then That, go to the website, check out what it can do. The fact that this can be used with that is very, very powerful. So for instance, I could just say like, uh, you know, when I send an email in, I want you to turn on. Like it can do crazy stuff like that. It could, it could read weather reports and stuff. So it's like, when it's raining, turn this on. Like it can do that kind of stuff. Oop this back up so I don't know if I could show you this on here but basically this is how you do it so once you actually connect it then you go on the website you could set everything up works just fine I've tried it multiple times you could set up scheduling on if this then that as well you don't have to use this application so once it's connected very powerful stuff very awesome there's two models of the Wi-Fi smart plug this is the DSP W110 Just make sure hold on a second yep DSP W110. There's another model. I have no idea what the difference is. So whatever. You can go check it out on Amazon. What I can tell you though is this model is under $30 right now. And at that price, 
It gets you in to the smart home market. I think it's a worthwhile gadget for actually getting in and starting connecting your devices. If you have something like an Amazon Echo, that has if this then that support, you could literally say to your Echo, hey Alexa, or whatever hot word that they use, I think it's Alexa, hey Alexa, turn my light on, and this thing will turn your lights on. That's pretty awesome. That's just scratching the surface of what things can do when they're connected all over the place. And that's the power of if this then that. The good thing is this little plug here that's only a little under $30 can actually leverage that system. Very, very powerful stuff. So if you have a smart home already, you may not need this, but if, you're not, if you don't and you want to get into that sort of stuff, this is a great entry-level device to do that. Once you start adding more and more devices, you can do a whole host of crazy things that you wouldn't even think about until you say, it's like, oh, man, I could just tell this to turn my lights on. Or I could just tell this to do something else. Or, I, you know, when this, when this motion sensor trips, do this. Like, all this kind of stuff is totally possible. Otherwise, it's just a plug that you can literally turn off and on on a schedule or manually from anywhere with a smartphone or whatever. Gets the job done, under $30. It's a good product. It does what it says. What more do you want? ASC Labs and ASC Publishing would like to thank D-Link for supplying this product for review. You can check out links below to purchase this product from various merchants, which is probably just one merchant, Amazon. So there you go. For ASC Labs and ASC Publishing, I'm Aaron Schatz, and thank you for watching. Remember, subscribe button right down below. Bright red says subscribe. Hit it. Be informed of all of our video content as we post them. That's all we post these days. If you're on a computer, I'll save you even some more trouble. There's a subscription right here in an annotation. You hit that, boom, you're subscribed as well. Easy enough to do, right? Um, you can just, right, I mean, really, just, I'm going to take, you know, I'll give you a couple seconds. Go right down here, hit the subscribe, confirm it, and say yes. Bam, you'll be informed of all the content as we post, and that's all we post these days. I'm also going to tell you about the one-minute reviews. If you do not have time to watch these long-form reviews, you can check out the one-minute review of every review that we post from a few months ago on. So if you don't have time, you can check out the one-minute review. We condense these reviews into one minute or less. Now, obviously, it's not going to be as the wide breadth of information as these long-form reviews, but it gets you the job done, and then you come back and you watch the long review. It's like a win-win for everybody. You get to watch the one-minute review. You come back to see the, the actual main review that has all the content, and you're good to go. You know everything about the product and you can make an informed purchase if you want to or not. I mean, that's why we do these reviews. It's to give you the information that you need to make an informed decision if you want a product or not. And I hope we're doing that. So remember, please like, comment, subscribe. Please leave me some feedback. Love to hear from you. And thanks for watching, everybody.